to Yaddo Kari Nation. My name is Caroline and I'm here to tell you about the five basic points of hermit crab care in 10 minutes. So let's get started. Here are all the supplies you're going to need. The first step to hermit crab care is to get the right kind of tank. You'll need a glass fish tank that is at least five gallons, though 10 gallons is preferred, and you'll need to get loose coconut fiber substrate comes in a big bag, it's about $10 at any local pet store, and you're going to put a few inches of it along the bottom of your tank. This is for your hermit crabs to bury in, and it holds moisture, which we'll discuss later. Along with this, you're going to want to put a few things in your tank for your hermit crabs to enjoy. You're definitely going to want to have something that they can hide in. They sell things like this if your hermit crab is small enough to fit in. You can definitely put that in there. And stuff for your hermit crab to climb on. Fake plants are good too, lots of fish things work. And you're going to need to fit two pools of water in there. Now again, the size of your pools will depend on the size of your hermit crabs. So you could use something little like this, or you can use something larger like this. Just make sure they're not so deep that your hermit crab drowns. Make sure there's something like shallow they can crawl around in. And those are the basics for what you need to have in the tank. The second step to proper hermit crab care is moisture. Hermit crabs need moisture. If there's no moisture in the tank, they will actually suffocate on dry air. They live near the ocean, so the humidity is very high there, around 80%. So you need to simulate that in your tank. Now you're going to need two water bottles, one marked differently, like mine here with the hairband, fresh water conditioner, what's called a hygrometer, and aquarium salt. Pretty much what you're doing is mixing both salt water and fresh water to put in your tank. It's very simple, I'll show you how. Mixing both salt and fresh water for your hermit crab tank is really easy. First, you're going to go to your local pet store and get a fresh water conditioner of some kind. There's all different ones. You can use ones that are for fish also if you have any fish tanks. It does the same thing. You're just trying to take out the chlorine and any other heavy metals or chemicals that would come in your tap water. And then you're just going to follow the directions. So the one for this is 8 fluid ounces gets 4 drops. So the upside of using a water bottle is that most water bottles are marked with how many fluid ounces they are, so you can do the calculation from there. For this kind, it's about 12 drops per each of these bottles. So that's the first step. You're going to put 12 drops in each. After adding the 12 drops of water dechlorinator, the fresh water bottle is finished. All, it's, all you need to do for the fresh water is just dechlorinate it. The salt water has a second step. Obviously, you have to add salt. So, aquarium salt. You're only going to be putting in one or two grains of aquarium salt because the bottle is so small. So just a couple grains of aquarium salt. Goes right in there. Makes salt water. With your water now mixed, you can go on and add it to your tank. If you're just starting up, you're going to be adding a lot of water. First, one of the pools that you have is going to be salt water and one is going to be fresh. So you have to make that decision and keep with it. So let's make the tiny one the fresh water. And you see you just pour it right on in. Don't worry if it splashes, you're going to need to splash it down anyway. So you fill the fresh water one and now what you're going to do is take pretty much the rest of this bottle and squirt it all over. You want to totally soak this tank. You want to get it on the walls, you want to get it up on the wood, make sure it's really nice and wet in there. And if you're just starting your tank up, I would suggest using an entire bottle. Just soak the entire substrate with it. That way you know it's moist, you'll know the hermit crabs will be able to breathe. And now you do pretty much the same thing with your salt water. You're going to open it up and you'll use the other pool. I'm going to make the other pool the salt water pool. I usually make the larger pool in my tank uh, the salt water one. And then again, I'm going to spray it around, especially on the substrate with the salt. That way the hermit crabs always have access to the salt water they need in the substrate. Okay? Ta-da! And you've added all the moisture to your tank. Now, when it comes to upkeep, adding water is going to be your number one thing. You're going to want to add water to your tank every day and make sure it's always moist. Very important. So, once you're done adding the water, you can finally put in your hygrometer. A hygrometer pretty much just tells you the humidity levels inside the tank. And again, you want it to be around 80 degrees. 
So you're going to put tape on the back. Sometimes they come with tape on the back. All these things are sold in hermit crab sections of stores and also reptile sections. If you can't find a hermit crab section, a lot of this stuff is reptile stuff too. Sticks right to the side. Make sure you put it somewhere you'll be able to read it easily. And then you'll forever be able to tell every single day if you need to add more water to your tank. The third step to proper hermit crab care is really simple. It's heat. Your hermit crabs need to have warmth. Somewhere between 75 and 85 degrees is ideal for them. But how do you keep them warm when you don't live somewhere warm? It's simple. You buy heater. They make specific ones for hermit crabs, and they make ones for reptiles too, which work just as well. Very easy to use. Depending on the size of your tank will depend on the size of the heater. They make ones ranging from 5 gallon tanks to 40 or 50 gallon tanks that stick on the outside. You should not, for hermit crabs, have to use lights. You can, but if you're afraid of uh, heat lights being dangerous or if you have children, don't have to use them. You can use one of these. Very safe. Very easy. All you're going to do is when it comes in your package, it'll be stickier. And you'll stick it right on the side like this. If it doesn't stick down, you can just use tape along it. And then you just plug it in. And it automatically heats up. Does not get too hot. Just make sure that there's airflow on this side. You don't want it to be pressed up against a wall or something like that. That way, it'll be safe. No harm done. Doesn't start fires. Really good. And it will heat up your hermit crab's tank. Now on top of having a heater, you might want to add a thermometer to the tank to keep an, uh, keep an eye on the temperature. Thermometers are usually sold alongside hygrometers, so you can get one that looks just like this, it's gold. And uh, mine's just in my tank right now, so I can't take it out. So that's it for the heat, just keep it around 80 degrees, they'll be happy and active. The heat and the moisture are the most important things. To help maintain heat and moisture in your tank, you should try to get a lid that's solid. You can do this in a couple of ways. If you have a mesh lid like this, you can shenanigan a closing. I just did it with duct tape when I was using this tank. This will keep the airflow low and then keeps the heat and the moisture in really well. You can also buy glass lids. Glass lids usually start at 10 gallons and up. Um, most uh, Pet Smarts and Pet Co's sell glass lids for 10 gallon tanks. Anything smaller or larger you probably have to go online for. It. But you can definitely take a mesh lid and just close it up yourself with plastic folders or anything else. You pretty much want to keep it closed, especially if you live in an area where the humidity is really low, because the humidity will escape from the tank very fast. You can also The fourth most important thing for your hermit crabs is food. This is where things start to get really fun. Hermit crabs definitely will eat those pellets you can buy in the store, and you probably got them when you got your hermit crab. That's fine, continue to provide those. But you should vary your hermit crab's diet with other things. They love eating all kinds of different food. Some of it's fish food, for instance, river dried shrimp. It looks like that. It's river dried shrimp. You buy at the pet store, blood worms, also pet store, baby shrimp, pet store, brine shrimp, pet store. All these things are perfectly appropriate. They love them. Uh, things like flax seed, other kinds of seed, walnuts, they're in love with for some reason. I've never understood it. But every time I bring a hermit crab home, I feed them walnuts, they devour them. This is cuddle bone, a piece of cuddle bone actually. This is usually used for birds. So if you go into the bird aisle, you'll find cuddle bone in larger pieces. And it's literally solid calcium. And it's really important for your hermit crabs to have calcium, so you can give them pieces of cuddle bone. They eat it, not a problem. And then other things like uh, this is some raisins and craisins, things like that. They love these, they'll sit there and pick at them. All kinds of fruits and vegetables, bananas, apples. Pretty much anything organic that you eat, your hermit crabs can eat and will eat. They're omnivores, they eat anything. The fifth and final most important thing to keep your hermit crabs happy and healthy is shells. You need to provide extra shells for your hermit crabs to change into. I'd say at least two extra shells per hermit crab, so they have a lot of variety and they definitely don't shell fight. Hermit crabs are pretty docile with each other, but they will fight over shells, and it can get nasty and hermit crab death can happen, so you don't want that to happen. So have lots of different sizes of shells in your tank. All my hermit crabs are around this size, so they have shells around this size. This is my hermit crab Dante, who is a jumbo. You see how big he is in relation to my hand. And so he gets special shells just for him because he's so large. For instance, this pink shell here will be one that he'll be able to move into, hopefully in the next couple of years as he grows and molts. You see that it's kind of the next size up. It's a little bit large, but soon. And that's pretty much it. You want to make sure to have different shells in there so that they can move into different ones and try different ones out. 
And you'll see your hermit crabs move into weird shells, and you'll be like, that's too small for you, or that's too big for you, but that's okay. They like trying different things, and they should be able to. So there you have it. Five key points to hermit crab care in ten minutes. Follow these steps, and your hermit crabs will be happy, healthy, and very active, and live for a long time. Thank you again for joining us at Yadda Carnation. My name is Caroline, and good luck with your hermit crabs.